beyond time and space, beyond past, present, and future, lies an internal unity, the vastness of untold stars, universes, with billions of stars, shedding planets with untold life, all a part of a vast, interwoven, interconnected web of existence. This vast web of creativity and creation, existing within the consciousness of being, is beyond time, beyond space, beyond duality. The essence of being from which all of this manifestation arises in which all of the laws of physics, all of the physical universe arises, is ever present, omniscient, the unitary whole of being, all creation abides within this substantive existence, within the consciousness and the mind of the infinite, aware being blended with the gunas and motion of creativity from Mother Nature, from Prakriti, unfolds the five elements and the manifestation of all life. You, like a grain of sand on the vast beach, Abide within this whole. You are part of this vastness, part of this interwoven, interconnected web of life. You are form lying within the web of life. lying within the awareness and intelligence of the universal whole, of that infinite being, Parama Purusha. There is no separateness between you and this whole. There is no division between you and the source of your being, the source of all being. When the dream of time and space and movement fall away, when the dream of I and mine is shed, What remains here, now, but you? And what are you but the embodiment of infinite love? The embodiment of pure being. 
the embodiment of the cosmic whole. Within the puddle, the moon shines bright. Within the sea, the drop of water is held and dissolves. Where is the difference between you and that most beloved of your heart? That one does not stand outside of you in some far distant place or some high holy place you must strive to achieve. That one is the self of yourself, always with you, closer than close in its wave of infinite love. There is no division of I and thou. The self you know, embodied in form. Who are you? You believe yourself to be separate. You attribute good and bad. You attribute right and wrong. You attribute gain and loss. You take on these attributions and you identify with those experiences. But to whom do those experiences belong? Who are you really? Who has experienced all of these gains and losses? Who has been right and who has been wrong? Who has done good things and who has done bad things? The one whom you are, who is that? Can you feel there is only that infinite one creatively manifest in the vastness of the cosmos, in the web of interwoven, interconnected life. You abide. You, the grain of sand, the dust in the wind, yet within you abides the light of the infinite, the love of the supreme. For of what are you composed? What is your substance? But this essence, this love, This aware intelligence, child, look into your heart, deep, beyond all the identities with experience. Let them go. Let them go. Who is the experiencer? Who are you? Feel the love in your heart. The essence of yourself. The truth which never changes. In the vast play of the manifestation of untold numbers of beings. There is but one, one love.
one truth, one aware intelligence, one conscious aware beingness, the infinite Brahma, composed of the quietude and silence of the unmanifest and arrayed in all the colors of creation in the web of life played out in the dance of creation within the mind of this infinite beingness, infinite awareness. You, the dust in the wind, of this infinite existence are none other than that divine self, that divine being. Let no one tell you differently. Shed all thoughts of self-depreciation. Shed all thoughts of right and wrong, of good and bad, of success and failure. These movements are not you. They are the dream you are dreaming. They are the play of consciousness within and without is an illusion of the body-mind structure. You are in all of the vast interwoven network of life. You are in the smallest molecule in the waves and particles. You are in the firmament and the vastness of the universe. You fly on the wings of an eagle, soar to the depths of the sea in the whale, live in the breeze, in the wind, in the earth, in the stars, in all creation, you are a drop of water and the whole. You are, there are never two. There is only one, infinite, immortal being, the beloved of your heart, your consciousness. Allow yourself to know yourself, the self of yourself the truth of yourself. There is no small self and large self within the self of all beings. All beings are contained. You are part of a whole. Yoga is the science of unfolding this truth within you of erasing the misconceptions of the mind, erasing the false identities and coming to know your true nature. Tantra is the science of this process. There is only one self. 
There is only one Guru. Many have been the forms, are the forms. The Guru is outside of you, taking forms. The Guru is within you, the true self of yourself, guiding you to your own true nature. The self remains one. The beloved is one. The inner and outer is an illusion. The multiplicity is the dream. There is one guru, one self, one truth, one infinite cosmic being, love, truth, the bliss of knowing, the light of love. This is who you are. This is your own nature. Awaken from the dream. Arise. Follow the yoga. Follow the truth. To whom you are. Let it settle in you. Feel it. You may say, oh, no, 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 no. I am just a simple person. I am I cannot see this inside of myself. This is too great. This is the God. I am not a God. Indeed, your ego is no God. It is the dream of these identities with form and movement. But within the dream is the dreamer. Outside of the dream is the dreamer. The dreamer abides in the dream itself. You are the dreamer. Let the small identity shed away. Let it shed from you. Fall away. And in all humility, accept the Baba, the Ma, the Infinite One within you. Let go of that which you have held on to in identity and step into truth, step into love, Unbound. This is the yoga that the ancients taught. All right. <laughs>